Good morning. It's Friday, November 18th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Cradle to Grave, Part 4, and our scripture is Ecclesiastes chapter 11. Just as you cannot understand the path of the wind or the mystery of a tiny baby growing in its mother's womb, so you cannot understand the activity of God who does all things. And then Psalm 127, Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. This week, we've been tracing some of the moral, ethical, and spiritual perspectives surrounding the issue of abortion. It's time to cut to the chase with a summary of logic. The illogicality of choosing abortion ignores the basic premise that God alone is God and we are not. If God is truly the creator, giver, and sustainer of life, choosing the opposite, or death, is nothing less than an all-out declaration of war. We have free will to disagree with logic and the supremacy of God, but the result is never pretty. The creator is greater than what he has created. As created beings, we are subject to the governance of he who is above creation. God is the arbiter of what is holy and sacred, and life is his choice. Those who choose abortion disregard the responsibility of parenting, which begins with the decision to be sexually active. Sexuality is a gift from God that's primarily and inextricably tied to reproduction. Even the most rabid of those who are pro-abortion use the term reproductive rights. While pleasure and intimacy are a wonderful part of a sexual relationship, not just byproducts of the reproductive process, they're not primary. As anyone with half a brain can attest, with rights come responsibility to use those rights in accord with that which respects the possible outcome, the recreation of a new life. Deciding to get an abortion is more emotional than logical. It's the same kind of decision Adam and Eve made out of fear that God would quote-unquote discover their sin. They hid when they heard him coming and their plan did not work. The fruit of the forbidden tree was supposed to make them as wise as God and all it managed was getting them evicted from the perfect home God had given them. Emotion, just as sexuality, is many-faceted. It can have positive benefits when rightly directed and tragic results when allowed to govern our choices unilaterally. Logic demands we consider our actions. Spiritual understanding demands that logic begins with honoring God with all our decisions. Now, if you need a verse that says that clearly, Solomon, the wise son of King David, is your man. Proverbs chapter 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. So what are the so-called logical considerations that are common to those who seek to terminate a child in the womb? Lifestyle interruption a career, education, personal freedom from parental responsibility, these and more which say that what we want cannot be interrupted with caring for a child. It is the height of selfishness. For you today, there's much more to be explored here than is possible in the few minutes of a morning devotion, so I leave you with just these few thoughts today. There is a decision to be made. Will it be God's authority or yours? Will your choice honor or defy God? Will it be an emotional choice alone, or have you done the hard dance with logic and prayer? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.